Mayor of Elkhart wants the city to spend a lot of money on public safety, including body cameras for police officers. But first, the city has to come up with the funds. WSBT 22's James Fillmore is at the live desk right now. And James, the city council is looking at an ordinance that would make this happen. Well, Rick, if approved, more than $1.6 million would be taken from the city's rainy day fund to pay for the body cameras, among other things. In addition to the new body cameras, the police department would have to replace all of the cameras inside the squad cars so they'll be compatible with the new system. Part of that system is a linking unit. When an officer turns their lights on, the cameras automatically start recording and the video is sent directly to computers. The price tag for all of that is about $349,000. Mayor Dick Morris says he talked with the city attorney and controller, and they decided the rainy day fund was a good place to get the money to pay for this. The new cameras have more megabytes, meaning they can store more videos. Plus, the visual quality will be better. The mayor believes this is what's right for Elkhart. It is definitely top of the line, but that's exactly what we want top of the line. No questions asked, something that works in the courtroom, something that protects our officers and our citizens as well. That's what we're looking for. The city council does have other public safety expenses to consider. One proposal is to take more than $996,000 from the Economic Development Income Tax Fund to pay for a variety of things, including 129 new tasers for police officers to use. Two other ordinances would move around funds to help the police department buy more squad cars. This was just the first reading of these ordinances, so people will have a chance to give their opinions at a future city council meeting. The mayor says if the city council supports the police body cameras, he hopes to have them in place as soon as possible. At the Live Desk, James Fillmore, WSBT 22 News.